Sherry. Couple of things here. Let's talk about deductible first. And speaking of first, that's what gets paid first. Always remember when you're reading through the material and you come up upon deductibles. Deductibles are always your out of pocket that you have to pay first before the rest of the benefits uh, within your policy will pay. It's usually a set dollar amount. Maybe it's a $50 deductible or a $250 deductible. So the cost of your medical care up to that, say, $50 amount has to be covered by you first. Then the insurance would be applied to the rest of the outstanding bill. And the larger the deductible, the lower the premiums. That's a concept. If you can remember this, it'll help you very much as you're going through the material. Think about this. If you have to pay a higher out-of-pocket first before the insurance company has to go on the hook to pay the claim, they're going to lower your premium for you being willing to accept a higher amount of money as a deductible. So it's a way to kind of control costs for you. Then there's something called co-insurance. Co-insurance, do not confuse it with co-pay. That's of the dollar amount you pay, say, when you walk into your doctor's office and they say, oh, that'll be a $25 office visit. Copay. This, what we're talking about here, is coinsurance. Coinsurance is paid after you, the insured, meet your deductible on the plan, and then the insurer will pay a portion of that outstanding balance. It's usually a percentage, such as 80 20, that's one of the most typical. Always remember when you have these percentages, the first number, say, for example, the 80%. After you've paid your deductible, the insurance company will pay 80% of the outstanding bill and you would pay 20% of the outstanding bill. And again, the larger the coinsurance percentage for the insured, again, it's going to lower your premium. The more that you have to pay over the insurance company paying, they're going to reduce your premium for that. Cost saving services. First of all, let's talk about preventative care. Using annual physical exams, mammography, and other procedures to detect medical problems that are less expensive if you treat them early. HMOs, for example, they kind of pioneered the whole concept of this preventative care. They realized that if we can keep our people healthy or healthier, we're going to have less claims overall. So it was a radical new concept. Outpatient benefits. Using outpatient services, sometimes referred to as ambulatory, meaning you walk in, have a procedure, and walk out that same day. You have much less cost because you're not staying overnight in the hospital and having that 24-hour around-the-clock nursing care. You're not having room and board. So it's another way to help save the cost of the expense of the medical treatment. And then alternative care. That's mixing inexpensive alternative care techniques and costly care covered by the insurance plans. Kind of mixing them together to still get you the proper kind of care, but not relying on just one thing or the other. It's a combination, again, to keep costs down.